Yeah, uh, look, anybody anybody can can sell a cup of coffee, anybody can uh, buy a physical aeroplane, um, and, uh, and we all buy the planes from the same manufacturers, so Boeing or Airbus, so, um, but, you know, but, you know, they're the different stops. I mean, uh, you know, if you fly on fly on the Virgin plane, you know, whether it's Virgin Atlantic, Virgin America, Virgin Australia, you know you're going to have uh, a completely different experience than if you fly. Yeah. What is the difference, the, the differentiation between Virgin America and all of these other domestic airlines that we see here? And I know it's more than, it's more than the in-flight uh, entertainment. I know it's more than the Wi-Fi. I think in my opinion, it's got to be the customer service. Am I wrong? Uh, everything in the end uh, comes down to uh, customer service and the people who are serving you and whether they're proud of the company. Uh, and you know, the, 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 the only way that you can actually have people working on a, in, in a company uh, that are proud of it is if you give them, give them the tools, give them every little detail. Is customer service really the differentiator moving forward? Uh, look, I, I, I think that, I mean, if, if no, all right, let's give you an example. When we started Virgin Atlantic 30 years ago, we had one 747 competing with airlines that had three, an average of 300 planes each. Every single one of those you know, airlines have gone bankrupt um, because they didn't have customer service. Um, you know, they had, they had might, but they didn't have customer service. So uh, customer service is everything in the end.